Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Ansel. This is their part number 423549. This is an end-of-line resistor assembly, uh, is what this is. And this part of the video will just be a visual tour, I suppose, of what this looks like. Not too much to see here, but I do have some photographs linked to down below along with installation instructions. So let's switch to the screen view now and let's take a closer look at the supporting information. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like, and also please consider subscribing to our channel. Let's move on to the rest of the video. Here is the item that we are looking at. Let's take a look at the images that we have. There's that resistor that's there. We'll talk about that. An end of line resistor basically allows, and I'm not an expert uh, on this at all, but if the circuit is meant to detect a certain variance outside of a defined standard, um, that would be the trigger to the system. Without the end of line resistor, basically having um, the resistor installed that is sucking, so to speak, current and giving it a um, value, whatever the uh, ohm value is of the resistor, that ohm value is directly related to how to balance that system or set that standard is how this works. Now we do have below this video um, a link to installation instructions as it pertains to an A101 vehicle system pressure switch installation instructions and the end of line resistor is shown here here and is discussed here for pressure switch feedback install the EOL assembly as outlined in 14A through D right through this section here okay but substitute the 4 0.7 kilo ohm EOL resistor for the splice block used in 14D. So if you're doing pressure switch feedback, you'll use that resistor. And that's where this item is used. This document's pretty handy. It gives a nice uh, description of what a um, form C switch would be, uh, a single pull double throw. Um, this, uh, a switch like that can be used to perform several different tasks upon system in, uh, actuation, including equipment shutdown turning on notification appliances or providing pressure switch feedback to a control panel. And that's where this end of line resistor comes in. Now, there's a link below this video here to the manufacturer's page. When you click on that, you can pull up not only all of the Ansel products that we sell by means of this horizontal navigation as seen here, but also a link to the manufacturer's uh, website here, as well as a link to a catalog and several other encyclopedic documents that are here as well. Product system overviews, things of that nature. Let's wrap up this video on camera. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like, and also please consider subscribing to our channel. Let's move on to the rest of the video. Okay, in conclusion, that's what the EOL resistor looks like. The 423549 by Ansel. If you have any questions on this device or any other Ansel product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you. Again, thank you for watching. And if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up. Please subscribe and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.